I can remember certain instances in particular where, you know, I would end the day in tears. The chronic stress over time of being the best teacher that I could be was too much for my nervous system. So I left the field of teaching. Those are two retired teachers opening up to me about their struggles in the classroom. But instead of just seeing the data about teacher burnout, both of them are doing something about it. So I'm wearing one of these things that's tracking my heart rhythm variability. That little device Andrea Trank believes is the key to keeping teachers in the classroom. And the chronic stress over time of being the best teacher that I could be was too much for my nervous system. For 15 years, she taught high school, even received a golden apple. I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease, so I left the field of teaching. Trank believes the stresses of teaching contributed to her disease. She left and found heart math. It teaches you every day how to replenish your own internal nervous system through some very simple tools. Through Zoom, she coaches FGCU education majors while they're interning at local public schools. The theory is fairly simple. You produce cortisol when you're stressed and that attacks your nervous system. When that happens, you become incoherent and can't effectively teach. They would focus their breathing and attention on the heart. So then the next step is you activate what we call an uplifting emotion. In that minute or less, you calm down and return to teaching. I oversee the student teaching in their final level of internships. Diane Kratt oversees FGCU education majors and hired Trank. I started interviewing our students and they wanted to know how to manage their own mental health. A national poll of educators this spring found 55% want to retire sooner than they planned. The number one reason, burnout. FGCU is one year into this heart math program and it's working. When they practice doing the techniques and practices given that they felt less stressed, they were e more easily able to get into coherence. Together, these women hope they can help educators be proactive with their wellness and keep good teachers in your child's classroom. And that heart math program is now a required class all FGCU education majors must take before they graduate.